So what we're going to be talking about today is connecting a MacBook Pro to your TV or monitor. Let's get started. So what we have here is a MacBook Pro, a TV of mine, the mini display port to VGA adapter, and uh, our VGA cord. So that right there is your VGA connector port. So this is your VGA input from the TV that I showed you earlier. What you want to do is connect your VGA cord to this port. So now we want to plug in the VGA adapter into the cord. Next, we are going to plug this into the MacBook Pro. So these are the ports on the left side of the MacBook Pro. Right here is the mini display port and where you want to connect the adapter to. So now we're going to connect the adapter to the MacBook Pro. You want to make sure this is plugged in and usually you'd screw this in all the way but mine's kind of finicky. So now if you saw you can tell the resolution changed on the, the computer screen. Take the controller to your TV and turn it on now. And if you do this correctly and you press the input on the, the remote, you will see an input source pop up for VGA. You click this and it will show you the feed that is coming through the cord on the computer. So now you can see that our laptop screen is mirrored on the TV. Something else we can do is go into System Preferences, Displays, Arrangement, and you will see a notification here to exit mirroring displays. Tap that, and now you have two different monitors. Something we can do also is change the arrangement on these screens. So right now you can see that this side is on the right. If we want we can drag it to the left and now since our screen is on the left what we can do is take our internet browser, drag to the left and it can go on the screen. We can resize the, the screen with this plus bar and now you have a working internet browser on your screen. Now open up a Word document and you can see it is on your computer screen with the internet screen also over here. Think of how useful this would be writing papers if you're trying to find out about the Titanic. You can click on Wikipedia because you all know that internet knows everything. And now we can sit here and type up and also look at the internet page that we are researching. If you would like to watch movies on your external monitor and also hear sound a little bit better than your computer speakers, you'd want to set up an external speaker. So what I have here is our my Bose sound dock and an auxiliary cord that will plug into the headphone slot of my computer. By doing this, I can now watch any sort of video. Make sure the volume's up. Uh, I have an ability to guess what people's New Year's resolutions are on the screen. I'm like a resolution psychic. I'll show you. My cousin Sal's outside on Hollywood Boulevard. In comparison, I also have a HDMI connector to the mini display port and an HDMI cable. For those of you that don't know what a HDMI port looks like, here you go. You want to plug in the end of the HDMI cable into this input. Now you can connect the end of the HDMI cable to the adapter. And 
And now, by taking out the other one and plugging in the new one, hitting input on our remote, you will see HDMI instead of the VGA. I feel that this is a better setup because it comes with a higher resolution and it is easier to set up. And now you can connect your MacBook Pro to your TV or monitor using an HDMI cord or VGA cable. Hope you guys had a great time learning about this.